Breaking news, everybody here in the Bachelor Nation world. It's Dave Neal, stand-up comic and host of Bachelor Nation News. Sad to report here, Sunday afternoon on the West Coast, mega couple, Caitlin Bristow and Jason Tartik, have broken up. They released a statement, of course, Caitlin Bristow, star of The Bachelorette, winner of Dancing with the Stars, also co-host of a season of The Bachelorette, and uh, engaged to Jason Tartik no longer. They have a breakup statement. Going to share what they had to say and she's also got some Instagram stories that are up, and the comment section on her joint statement is closed off for good reason. A lot of people insert their opinions into these types of topics, but in the end, we can just offer our uh, prayers, thoughts, love, hugs, whatever positive energy to both of them through this process. And you might say, well, this sounds so melodramatic, Dave. I understand. But they put their hearts out there for the whole world to see, and with that, sometimes, unfortunately, uh, it doesn't work out. And in this case, um, a lot of people were rooting them on. I think all of Bachelor Nation, for the most part, if you weren't rooting them on, it's probably a you problem, to be quite honest. Don't we all want love? Jason and Caitlin posted this. After sharing the news with family and close friends first and taking the time to properly process it ourselves, we are saddened with heavy hearts to share that we have decided to end our engagement. We are thankful for all of you who gave us the time and space to process this life-altering decision as there are many emotions and changes to navigate. Our dogs, Raman and Pino, will continue to be cared for together as brothers. While their humans are no longer romantically involved, we will love and take care of them together. Continuing our friendship is incredibly important to both of us. We feel grateful to be ending our engagement with love and respect for each other. It's heartbreaking and sad to say goodbye, but our care and admiration for one another will never die. We are beyond thankful for the memories made together and for your support of us and the boys throughout the years. Moving forward, we will always have that level of support for each other. We don't know what the future holds, so please try to hold space for us in your hearts, Caitlin and Jason. Very sad stuff there. Of course, as we know, for several weeks, there's been chatter about Caitlyn not wearing her engagement ring and people saying, well, she's at the beach, but she used to wear it at the beach and now she's not. Jason's traveling, all these types of things that I think it's fair. I think, like I've said before, it's fair for fans to want to visit Yellowstone National Park. That's what we call Bachelor Nation. What's not fair is when fans try to pet the bison. Stay away from the bison. Stay in your cars. Keep the windows up. Enjoy the entertainment value that is known as social media. And just try to uh, not have the entitlement that can come with consuming someone else's content that they share. Just know whatever they decide to share is what we can consume and what they don't decide to share. We hope that they're just working things out, right? I'm going to share what Caitlin Bristow had to say. Let's go to Jason's Instagram stories. I don't believe he has said anything, but again, this information came out just, I literally, it's the Starbucks rule. If I'm out of Starbucks, breaking stories happen. I don't know what it is about Starbucks. I went to a Starbucks. I was supercharging my car, getting ready to go to a friend's birthday party, and this news broke. We could not hold on to this story until tomorrow. To be quite honest, probably the biggest breakup in a very, very long time in the Bachelor world. Probably the biggest Bachelor story of the year, to be quite honest. Uh, Here they are. He said, I will forever be grateful for this beautiful person that was brought into my life. We'll share their timeline in a second here. Let's see if we had anything else we missed. Thank you for the support and love over the years, he said, as Caitlin was by his side. And then the final post he just posted just 20 minutes ago. Beyond heartbroken, please be kind as we go through our individual journeys to heal. Now, of course, there will be comments. Why should we be private now when you've shared, you know, this and that. But guys, come on. This is tough. Like, for, for one, this relationship, for me hits close to home because I've really respected both of them and I still do. Uh, But as far as the businesses they've led post show, their entrepreneurial spirit, the way they see uh, sort of their plights in life, I just really value. I see them as like a distant cousin I met once at a family reunion. You know what I mean? But just like a lot of people are out there, you go, oh, geez, what what are we talking about? We don't know these people. That's dang right we don't know these people. But we can wish them the best. They've taken a piece of them and shared it with the world and shared it with their audiences. And, um, 
now it's just going to be a rough go. As we know, Caitlin has, you know, I, I can paraphrase here, said she was excited to possibly even have babies with Jason before getting married. The plans were delayed for probably a ton of different reasons from COVID and trying to make it perfect, you know, all the different things that can go into delaying a wedding. Trust me, I know. I got engaged before the pandemic and it took two pandemic years before I got down the aisle and before we did that. So I totally understand. And like some people have said, if you want to make it work, if you want to do a wedding plan, if you want the kids, if you want all these things, you'll find a way to make them happen. And what we saw was essentially two different companies take off. Caitlin's company, Spade and Sparrow, her wine label. She's She has that company that's just rocking. She's in Targets and Costco. She's all over the place. Her podcast is the biggest in Bachelor Nation. It's transcending Bachelor, Bachelor Nation off the vine. And then Jason's got a hit podcast, a best-selling book. He's got his uh, kind of team working and they're both really just forces going in. I don't don't know I'm, I'm assuming opposite direction since they didn't work out I don't I don't want to um speculate there but I, you know my belief when it comes to relationships is you you want for the healthy ones to grow side by side and it just looks like for whatever reason they were drifting in different directions or the priorities were different I mean it takes a lot to make a relationship work we all know this we're not here to judge ourselves we've all been in relationships that for no reason maybe it was good on paper and it just couldn't work out we've all been there and for them it just wasn't meant to be. And it's it's interesting timing. It's very interesting timing. Now, some people are wondering, and this is, uh, you know, don't mean to be tacky here, but I'm going to talk about my Patreon, not to promote it, but just to say people are, were wondering, we were teasing that there was a breakup that happened in Bachelor Nation last week that was not made public. It's not this breakup. Just so you guys know, I wasn't teasing this breakup and talking about it on the Patreon. There is a separate breakup that happened. We talked about it last week. We'll continue to talk about all of these breakups on the Patreon in ways that maybe we won't talk publicly just because, you know, respectfully, we're trying to not sensationalize what is a tough situation. You know what I mean, folks? But anyway, 10 a.m. tomorrow will be live, patreon.com slash Dave Neal, to further discuss this breakup, what's being said. Um, I'm, there will be plenty of time in the coming weeks and months. I'm sure there'll be podcast conversations. Uh, I don't know if Jason will discuss this on his podcast, Trading Secrets. It's not exactly what he discusses. It's not, But with Caitlin's, I mean, she 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 wears her hot, hot on her sleeve. And you also have to wonder, she's done a lot of work this year and talking about inner child work. What has she worked on herself? Has it, has it changed the trajectory she's leading in her life and where she wants to go? And and, you know, everybody has a biological clock. I'm not making this sexist. Everyone does. Whenever I say women have a biological clock, my wife says, Dave, men do too. I get it. I understand. We all are working against a time where death wins 100% of the time, as far as we know, right? It wins. And, and, and wanting to have your career and have a family and wanting all traveling, all these different things, you, you just, you, you get this uh, existential anxiety anxiety, fear of the unknown, that can come where you just can't always have it all, or at least the perception that you can't have it all, right? And I'm sure um, having the businesses with their feet just straight on the gas pedal for both of them with their careers and wondering how do we even, if we can't even get to the, uh, to the altar, how are we going to have a family? I mean, all these things you think about, and we just hope that whatever directions they go in, that by choosing this strong decision to end their engagement that they at least get closer to the next turn in their sort of um, map quest of life, you know, not to sound cheesy. So that's the statement, folks. Comments are off. Here's what Caitlin has to say on her Instagram. She po so start so all week long she's been posting I don't want to call it cryptic but just things where people in the know know that it wasn't working out. She posted a reel that said anxiety do's and don'ts please go please go share yours. So she was discussing the types of things that are good for healthy sort of um you know rebirth and things like that. And then she posted that she's been going to um you know she's been going to her workout classes and all the things that would be very healthy to do if you're trying to sort of you know you know it's 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 almost like a baptism right and uh you know and then here she was just an hour ago right before the post <laughs> duty to get some some smiles going on over here which that clearly just did it for me um but i'm going to la tomorrow um to do a fun little thing with bachelor with the golden bachelor so it looks like she'll be hosting an episode of the golden bachelor maybe they'll address her breakup on there and she wanted to get ahead of the story here i'm very excited about it. and we're doing a live audience so i'll put the details in the next slide so you can come and watch 
and so I'll say, hey. she mentioned just an hour ago the Golden Bachelor that's happening. And, you know, you might say, oh, she looks happy yeah, yeah. and fine here. Hey, folks, come on. This is a, a, a true, uh, you know, performer. She uh, puts on a brave face to promote the business she has to do. And, of course, it's not as simple as that. She posts this. Look, whether you see Caitlyn as a as a as a influencer or a uh, sort of parasocial, like I said, cousin or friend or whatever you see her as, when you see someone crying, regardless of what you think of someone posting tears when they're sad or whatever, when you see someone in pain vicariously, it affects us all. Whether you want to believe it or not, it affects us all. See you soon. Bye for now. And that's her logging off of Instagram. And I think that's a smart move. We know when we talked about some of the issue, issues that Tino had after his season of The Bachelorette, I, I messaged him, and I think he's okay with me sharing this. A friend DM'd me back and said, I'm, I'm covering Tino's DMs so he doesn't have to deal with the internet right now. It's a beautiful thing. My wish for Caitlin is that she's got you know, her assistants that, that, um, that are uh, you know, trustworthy and respectful enough that they can take her phone and just say, we'll keep you in the know with things you need to know. We'll We'll keep the haters away and just take this time to be a human being, you know, having an unfortunate human experience. Um, she posted this, her final post, just uh, less than an hour ago. If everyone can say some sort of prayer for both of our hearts, we would love that. I just know social media can be awful. So taking a little break and good for her. And I'm sure, and as we know, 95% out of 100 people are probably sending her well wishes and love. But boy, you know, those negative Nancys that exist out there, they, they don't need a seat at her table for sure. So, you know, we could go through the whole timeline of how, when they started dating and where have they been. We'll probably cover this more tomorrow. I'm not going to um, sort of... Um, you know, sometimes when we have these breakups, we'll do some sort of like superficial uh, sort of obituary sounding music and go through all that. I I just I feel like this is a little bit more serious, a longer term relationship, that type of thing. So they had a love at first chat for Caitlin and Jason, and they didn't meet on The Bachelorette. He, of course, was a finalist on Becca season, but they got together in 2019 when he became a guest on Off the Vine with Caitlin Bristow. She was broken up with Sean uh, Booth. Of course, there was that thing where we made a video where Sean Booth said that she accidentally texted Sean thinking it was uh, Jason. And of course the text was something about like, oh, he knows about us, that type of deal. But of course she moved on with Jason after Sean and that, you know, relationship obviously didn't work. Uh, wins Dancing with the Stars during the pandemic, and they were together. They made it official. Let's see if their engagement, for, for, uh, they confirmed their relationship January 30th, 2019. The day before Valentine's Day, Caitlin Bristow and Jason Tartik made their social media debut. So again, this was four This was four years ago. This was, I mean, like time Time really goes by. They 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 were on the show together, and you know, a, a success story, unlike your average, I mean, there aren't many success stories within the Bachelor world, but a success story nonetheless less as it or in you know well what do you call a success story right uh either way they spent you know they they moved in together lived in nashville together and they're gonna have to you know i'm assuming someone's gonna get the house and you know co-parenting of the dogs that type of deal and then they let's see here and then they they got engaged i'm trying to get to the engaged part here and they've just shared that uh, may 11th 2021 so two years after getting engaged and you know they didn't um make it to the altar and you know we can uh, we can only imagine that they had some hurdles that they got over and some that they didn't and then um you know there's always updates on the engagement what are you going to do when are you going to plan and they talked about it in different ways and then they kind of just said you know what let's just be let, like like let's stop feeding the beast here which is an audience uh you know you know dem uh, you know that's pretty demanding with their questions so now we have the update long-winded one joint breakup statement leave a comment Please be kind. Let me know what you think in the most positive way. Uh, of course, Caitlin, I'm sure her DMs are closed, but you know, uh, I would, I would, I would, I would take it as a point of pride that my audience doesn't uh, bother them in any which way with their sort of what they're dealing with, and just high frequencies of love, folks. That's what we look for. We'll be back first thing in the morning with a ton of content, and I mean a ton of content. Uh, join us on Patreon, patreoncom Neal. and tomorrow, Bachelor Rush Hour, the hit podcast, will absolutely have this as the main story. It's the biggest one of the year, so we uh, we say goodbye to Caitlin and Jason as a team, and now we root them on as individuals. Let me know what you guys think. Leave a comment. Have a good rest of the weekend.